Hello everyone, my name is Lukas and in today's tutorial I will show you how you can use and create your own wizards. As you may know, wizards are located on the left hand side in a palette called wizards. If you don't see it, just simply right click on this edge and you can find it right here. As you may know, wizards are used for improving the speed and efficiency of your designing, drawing or modeling. You can find a wide range of different wizards from all plan, including walls, patterns, lines, doors, and etc. If you want to use them, you simply choose one and then double right click on the element and then you just start drawing. As you can see, I have drawn the walls. But what if none of these wizards are fulfilling your needs and you don't want to create your wall in properties every single time you are trying to draw? You can create your own wizards. As you can see, here I made wizard in tutorial which is created wizard by me. And now when I double click on the wall, I just simply draw it. And it can be block work wall or it can be brick wall with T insulation. Now I will show you how to make these wizards, how to make your new top and everything. So at first, let me delete this group remove group. So now we have only the default ones. When you want to create your wizard, first thing you need to do is create a new project. You simply go to new project, click new project and follow the steps which I made in previous video. But right now I have made my project named wizards where I store all my wizards already. As you can see right now I'm in that project, so I just changed my drawing file. Each drawing file is assigned to one top of your wizards. So here I have masonry walls. When I step in it, you can see the very same wizard as was shown just a few seconds ago. As you can see, it's all made by simple elements like text, fill. This representation is made as free elevation generated from these walls which are here and these are just simply walls which I drawn by using wall tool and stuck them under each other and then named them so I have it like well organized. After you finish doing this all you have to do is go to top left hand corner click save copy as I save it on the desktop and save as type wizard. As you can see here I have both columns and masonry walls. So I say masonry walls, rewrite it and it's done. Now when you want to create your own wizard here you need to right click on the arrow, say new group. As you can see here I created already a group. You just type the name you want to have and save it. And your new wizard is open. Right now it's empty. Next thing you need to do is right click on the empty list. Say open wizard. And go where you saved it. I saved it on desktop, go masonry walls, open. And as you can see the very same wizard is located right here. Now I can double right click and draw. And I draw very same wall which is located right here. I picked it from wizard without need of any adjustments. But what if you want to have next step? First you need to create a new drawing file which I have right here called columns. And in a new drawing file you need to create another set of your 
elements. Then you simply again save it as wizard and same procedure all over again. Then open wizard, you import it. And as you can see, you have two tabs which are from two drawing files. Then you decide that you may need something else except these elements. So for example, I get rid of this line, extend these by the same length, and we will redraw our new wizard. So instead of these UPE profiles, I decided I will use T profiles in my project. Possibly. So maybe T profile 50. Yeah. Click OK. It's here, right here, and then. Again, T profile, but 140 for this time. Click OK. As far as I remember, yeah, this was 50. So I changed the name to 50. This one for 140. The name I change T steel profiles. And now, the only thing I need to do is again save copy as desktop wizard columns. I need to rewrite this document, click save. And now when you switch between these two, the new set of your profiles are automatically loaded in without any further changing, rewriting or anything. And by doing this, you can create your whole set of wizards, including your own, let's say, furniture set, dimension lines, or whatever you need for improving your efficiency in drawing, modeling, and designing. Thank you for your attention, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.